Hello everyone, welcome to what I'm officially calling Michael's Mardle. It's where I'm going to sit here and waffle at you for a few minutes uh, on occasional mornings to tee up some, some stuff. Um, of course we've got Colney Day coming up at lunchtime today, looking ahead to the derby on Sunday lunchtime. That's what all the talk has been about, of course, and you can catch the Pink and Show from Wednesday night over at the Coach and Horses pub where we did a, a lot of talking ahead of, of the derby. Personally, I still can't quite believe Luke Chambers decided to give up the moral high ground on the quote skate this week over Nelson Oliveira, but we'll see if that has any uh, intrinsic impact over the derby on, on Sunday, and I'll talk about Colney and, and, and Sunday in a moment. But first of all, let's have a look at a couple of bits that are in the papers today because I think they're, uh, they're worth um, looking at. Uh, obviously, all derby uh, centric, but there's a, a nice chat here with my good old mucker, Darren Eady. Can we get that in there? talking about um, the fact that he's still getting food at Portman Road, which I think he quite likes. There's a bit of a bit of him that quite likes that, most definitely, and he, he talks about that, and he's pretty open about it, too. And he will, of course, be on Sky Sports uh, Pundit Duty for Sunday lunchtime, so we'll keep an eye out for Darren. Give him a wave if you're an Norwich fan. Be nice to him, and uh, hopefully we'll get him on the Pinkin Show again very, very soon. Um, and, of course, worth also pointing out in the EDP today, Ewan Roberts' column, there's a man who had some pretty um, fantastic experiences in the derby and um, he knew all about it. Hopefully the Norwich squad that goes to Portman Road will know all about it. It's a kind of unusual setup this time because for the first time in a long time Norwich have got a lot less derby experience than Ipswich so um, that transition will probably be quite keenly watched yet. Yeah. Also, quite clearly, those players will know exactly what a derby is like because they're kind of the same wherever you play in them. That's probably heresy to say that, but um, ultimately, you play in a derby, you know you're gonna, you know you're gonna get some pretty uh, thick treatment, and that's kind of how it works, isn't it? So, um, another thing I wanted to flag up was, if you don't mind, my column today, which is with um, Alex Notman. He's um, a guy whose entire Norwich career ended in the derby, just 20 minutes into his first derby. It's a, it's a. It's a fascinating tale in terms of um, how he had to deal with that and what he went through and, uh, and what he's doing now as well. A lovely guy, it was really great to chat to Alex and he was, a, he was a very decent player. But to have your career ended, to, well the injury took place when he was still only 22, um, is, a, is a tough one to take. So really interesting read there. Um, I will put links to the key stories in uh, the description-y bit on the uh, Pink and YouTube channel. YouTube dot com slash the pink and channel so the descriptions will be on there and if this is on facebook too and i get to post it on there i'll put the i'll put the uh, the links in the description there as well um one other thing i should flag up is this it's six of our columnists you can see that they've all had their say on the derby and their predictions what they think is going to happen you'll see that online over the course of the weekend because of course we've got a saturday to fill but uh, likewise uh, you can read all that in today's eastern daily press as well so um keep an eye out for that that'll be up at pinkin.com uh, later in the weekend so going this lunchtime i think for me the really interesting thing we're not sure which player we're going to speak to yet we know it'll obviously be daniel farker and then we'll see which player we get likewise ipswich have got their press duties today too the tone will be really interesting that will be the the thing that will be uh, you imagine at this point the managers will want to be playing everything down and they'll want to be taking control back from what their players have been saying in their absence over the course of the week but we'll we'll see what generally happens and what's said because at this point things can get picked up really easily that said most of the teams have done all their build up they will i'm sure be training tomorrow as well as today and they'll probably start getting quite focused and and some of them the chatter will have less relevance that said, I, I can't for the life of me imagine Mick McCarthy not trying to use things to his own advantage. And I'm, I'm almost certain that Daniel Farker would have looked at things at, at Colney and just explained to the players exactly what it means and, and what, how they need to treat it as an, an, a normal game. But we'll see, because it may not, of course, pan out like that. And uh, I've got away without um, giving a prediction uh, in the paper, and I'm not going to do one now, because I, think, um, I don't think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. So I'm going to leave it like that because I'm not sure what's going to happen. Anyway, I'll do some of these Michael models, I'm sure, uh, over the time. And don't forget, there is loads of Norris City content on the Pinkin YouTube channel. And, of course, that filters into Pinkin.com, where you can catch all the best analysis, build-up and live coverage of Sunday's Derby and every Norwich City game. And hopefully we'll work out some way of doing some live broadcasting uh, before Sunday's Derby too. We haven't quite worked out whether it's going to be coaches or pub. Um, we have become quite attached to broadcasting in pubs these days. Anyway, uh, don't forget, all the 
press conference coverage will be coming your way on the usual pink and channels today and that will lead you perfectly into Sunday's fun and games.